Hey guys, it's Lego Boy 108 here doing another Lego Star Wars review. Um, today I have Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator. It is ages 814, set number 7961, and it is 479 pieces. Real quick, you get two instruction booklets. So yeah, you get two of those. But um, yeah, let's get right off started with the characters. Uh, one of the first ones you get is Captain Panka. Um, he looks pretty. Not, um, now most of these figures are pretty rare. The figures that I haven't, I don't have yet until now, and uh, they're also figures that really um, that uh, that uh, most people like me missed out on, like that when they uh, the first wave of these characters came out in like two thousand in the two thousand like two or something. But, um, yeah, so Captain Panka has a nice little hat right here, and it, um, has, like, little, uh, a little star on it, and then, yeah, that's about it for his hat, um, he has one side of his face, nothing on the back, nice back printing, nice torso printing, regular legs, and he comes with the blaster. But, yeah, that's, uh, Captain Panka. Next, we have Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, he looks very nice. He's also a character I did not have before. Uh, this isn't focusing that much, but I'm trying to get it to focus as best as possible. Um, yeah, he has nice face detail, nice torso detail. He has a cape with, mm, apparently, some back printing. So yeah, his back printing on the back. Uh, his hair piece is very nice, and he comes with a a new color green lightsaber hill. It's um blade. It's a little different than the other green ones we've seen. Next we have Padme. Um, we haven't seen one of her for a while too. Uh, um, her face is pretty nice. Um, regular face. Night, very nice detailed hair. Comes with those short pistols, nice torso detail, regular black legs, and oh, she does have two faces apparently. One's her like girl face, like she's fighting. The one's her happy face. And then she does have back printing. But yeah, that's ah, oh, come on, this hair. Never mind. Okay, that's about it for him. Next we have Darth Maul. Yay! Yeah, Darth Maul, um, he basically has his whole legs and torso or like any other regular Sith. Same type of lightsaber. And his face is a little new. Uh, not that much new, but it is new a little bit. And then like with uh, Savage Press, he does come with a separate hair uh, horn piece that you can also put his robot, his cloak on too if you don't want his horns. But yeah, now on to the main set. Uh, this set is, um, I'm kind of disappointed with it. Compared to the old one, like, there's a lot of studs showing instead of, like, all smooth, like the old one. But, hey, um, I, I didn't have the old, I, I, old one, so this was a pretty nice one. Uh, nice front detail. Uh, quite a few stickers, sadly. But, you know, like, always likes doing stickers. Um, uh... And then on the back, nice back detailing, more stickers. Then there's the bottom with the landing gear. Um, but yeah, you got flick fire missiles right there. And then um, if I open this up, um, inside, let me bring the camera up. You have uh, two drones, which you can like pull these levers and they like drop out like that. But um, then I stored his cloak in there. And then you get one of these speeder bikes for Darth Maul. It's okay. And that, uh, not really that many features in the middle, really, guys. Uh, more stickers here and there. I'm gonna close that back up. And over here, um, that's, um, happily, this isn't good, for a good thing, this isn't stickers, that's printing, which is nice. So you can take that off. Uh, Wow, I opened that wrong. Hold on. Jeez, clumsy me. Okay, you can open... Oh, I fell off again. I'll fix it later. You can open that up, and you can put Darth Maul in there. And then, got, um... This is, like, where the cockpit is. But, uh, yeah. Um, what else? Um, mainly, that's really it. Um, nice wing detail. 
the things can move back and forth. Um, but what else? That's about it. Um, now you guys might be wondering, my my voice has been sounding a little different. It's because um, I'm right now I'm using my uh, dad's camera and um, what in. I before had been using another camera, which is pretty a little older, but can focus better on the characters. Like, like this can't really focus as well. But um, so yeah, I've been using my dad's camera. That's why my voice sounds different than it has before. The only it's kind of weird, funny, like how this camera gets my voice pitch right, but the but it doesn't focus right. No, the camera doesn't get my voice pitch right, but can focus great. So um. Yeah, sorry about that. My voices might be changing a little back and forth. But, um, well, before I go, this funny thing happened. When I ordered, got the set in the mail, um, I, uh, apparently they gave me an X-Wing. One of those, uh, uh, exclusive ones. Not like an Ultimate Collector's one. That'd be cool, though. But, uh, one of those X-Wings. And I don't know why they gave me that. And I looked on the order sheet. And I hadn't, it wasn't in my order sheet form because I hadn't ordered it. So I don't know if I, like, won it from a, like, like, a contest or something. I don't know, like, if it was a draw, a lucky draw. But I don't know. So now I have two X-Wings, which is pretty weird. But funny at the same time. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, stay tuned for the next review. This is LegoBoy108 signing off. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And bye.